teams met. It was a blowout up at Arco, but a triple overtime game here at Oracle's. Monte Ellis is on. Coaches for Musselman to Theus. For Adelman, was let go. Monte Ellis really. That's here, so Turioff just goes to the corner so Monte can try to beat the big man. And Monte, he takes that bump. He record. Monte Ellis with the floater. Monte jumper. Monte at 100 miles an hour. Monte all the way to the rim. What a finish. They can take a fade away and hope he misses. Monte to the rim. He's absolutely on his game right now. He's carrying the four of five. He's got ten. Monte on the ground as Ibaka went back to the basket. That's all the room he needed. Monte at 100 miles an hour. Monte catches two three. Is on fire. Kenneth Knight. Ellis battles his way. Oh, he beat Duncan off the dribble to score. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to create that neck on her big neck. My nigga selling crazy. What's up, YouTube? It's Drew, and I'm back in the link on a big body banger 23 video. Now, first things first, make sure like, comment, subscribe. We're going to roll the 7K. And I'm saying today, I am the bill dealer on your local corner. And I'm going to y'all with this Monte Ellis. 2k23 build video yes there's was requested so here it is today i had a good time with this build as always you know what i'm saying y'all been wanted a monte ellis build for a little bit i know y'all want uh rafael I, I believe i'm butchering his name but austin you know uh abdur rahim i'm not even gonna try i'm not gonna try to butcher these people's names okay but i know y'all want a lot of the underrated type of guard bills brandon jennings etc you know and i see all y'all's requests so this is the first step to giving y'all to you know this request you know this monte ellis bill was actually pretty hard not hard to make but like hard like in a good way pause but without further ado let's get right to the astrophysics for this 2k23 monte ellis Ooh. so as you see is a shooting guard number eight i made him six foot three 185 pounds with a six foot three wingspan and a solid body shape this is all accurate of course from the height to the weight to the wingspan as always i try to keep my builds as accurate as possible now getting into the attributes so for your close shot or well for your finishing you want an 84 close shot you want a 95 driving layup a 60 driving dunk and then put your post control up to a 52. For your shooting, you want to put your mid-range shot all the way up to an 86. Then for your three-point shot, you want that at a 75. And your free throw, you want a 71. For your playmaking, you want an 80 pass accuracy, 87 speed with ball, and a 90 or 87 ball handling, my bad, and then a 92 speed with ball. So yes, you will be zooming with this build. For your defensive rebounding, you want a 40 interior defense, a 74 perimeter defense, an 85 steal which will give you access to silver glove and then a 40 defense rebound for your physicals you want an 85 speed 85 acceleration 45 uh strength 75 vertical and a 95 stamina and this is pretty much the build man like comment and subscribe let me know what y'all think i should have did what i could have did differently with this build you see with the takeovers i go with pool of precision and easy blow bots, but i have access to slashing shot creating sharp shooting and play making takeovers i'm surprised they did not give me a lockdown defense takeover because of that 85 still rating that i do have and you see in the shades of well, for real, I always do my job because you see I got Monte Ellis. I also got Tyrese Maxey and DeJounte Murray. Once again, as I said, I always do my job inside the arc shot creator. I did not know if I would get Monte Ellis in the shades of, but I did. So I don't know what more y'all want from me. You know, this is a peak prime Monte Ellis 2K23 build video. You're not going to find many of these on, on YouTube at all. So I, I really do hope y'all enjoyed this build as always, you know, as, and as always, let me know y'all feedback too. I really do appreciate it. Now, as for the bash spread, it's already pretty balanced. Like there's not really much that you can add to any category because you have pretty much everything that you need in the right places. But 
If it were up to me, I would add those uh, extra badges either toward shooting or playmaking. You know, you already have your tier three defensive and rebounding badges, so you don't really need to worry about that. But I think shooting or playmaking, you could always add those extra badges in because it never hurts to have more playmaking as a guard and it never hurts to be able to shoot more as a shooting guard. Now, for this build, it was a pure off the dribble primary ball handling ISO type of build, you know, like you're not going to be playing off ball with this build you should be on ball with this build you know monte ellis was pretty much an on ball type of shooting guard although like he wasn't the most consistent three-point shooter i believe he shot around 30 percent for his career he did shoot a lot of good mid-range shots you know and was able to create his shot off the dribble get to the rim you know kind of like a jordan clarkson you know so with this build that's pretty much what it is you know you are able to slash and drive to the rim you have a 95 driving layup which will help you in the long run because you you will be able to pretty much lay anybody that comes in your way and then on top of that your defensive capabilities are od or you have that 85 still rating to bail you out if you need to be bailed out you know you're not just going to be babied around just because you're six foot three because if you press square once there is a chance that they give the ball up you know so there's always that monte ellis was also good at getting into the passing lane so i tried to represent that with this build and then of course with this playmaking and speed like you know that was a highlight of monte ellis's career the ability to, to create stuff off the first step so yeah you know obviously bro was on the we believe warriors like honestly that we believe warriors team they need a lot more credit you know baron davis monte ellis i believe stephen jackson was on that team at a point you know i'm not sure i don't think matt barnes was on that team I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. Matt Barnes was not on that team, but Steven Jackson definitely was on that team. You know, they had a, a lot of solid names right before Steph Curry came, you know, right before they took off. And it, honestly, it would have been cool to see Monte Ellis and them, you know, go and win a chip. And if y'all don't know, Monte Ellis was on the team when Steph Curry came. He was still a 20 point per game scorer, and I believe the Warriors traded him away, and I gave room for. Steph Curry to go crazy but imagine if Monte Ellis was still with the Warriors I wonder how his role would have changed what would have happened because bro was an elite scorer for sure you know he had a deep bag but as always let me know what you think down below let me know y'all take on Monte Ellis and on this bill that's pretty much the end of the video y'all make sure like comment and subscribe and roll the 7k I'm saying comment down below any bullshit y'all want and I'll eventually get to them but until then I'm out Peace.